Hello everyone, my name is Andres Burgos and I will be speaking to you about the viral examples. There are six viral examples, however I only have five on the board. What I will do is explain these five, then I will move on to the sixth one, which is hand foot mouth disease. Let me begin with measles. Measles, also called rubiola, also called first disease, is caused by the paramyxovirus. How do you get exposed to measles? How do you get measles? How do you even acquire the infection? Well, first, you have to get exposed. The way you get exposed with measles is the respiratory droplets. What are the respiratory droplets? Well, respiratory droplets are simply coughing or sneezing. If a person infected with measles either coughs or sneezes at or around the healthy host, that host will get infected with measles 10 to 12 days after the incident. What happens 10 to 12 days after? The prodrome symptoms begin. Cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. Cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. Cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. Those three are very particular for measles. The person will also have a fever. Will not, will not go over 105. No. 105 degrees Fahrenheit is the highest the fever will go. And it will accompany cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. The history is very important for measles. I'll tell you why in a little bit. Coplic spots. Coplic spots are white spots on the buccal mucosa. They are the anthem for measles. However, coplic spots are not going to always be present on presentation. Why? Because these coplic spots disappear as soon as the rash begins. And if the patient presents with a rash, these most likely will not be there. If they don't present with a rash, and they just have a history of these things going on, with the fever, you might be able to see the coplic spots. But if the rash is present, no coplic spots will most likely be seen. When the prodrome symptoms begin, they only will last for one to seven days. The rash, however, they could last about five days, but the rash, however, will start on the fifth day. The fifth day after the prodrome symptoms began, the rash will appear. What is a rash? The rash is a maculopapular rash that begins on the head and then will spread to the entire body. It will last four to five days and then fade the same way it appeared. So remember, history is important for measles because if the rash is present on presentation, none of these things will be seen. The complex spots, they won't be seen. They might not be seen. Cough, coryza, conjunctivitis. Next, rubella. Rubella is caused by the toga virus. It's also called 
German measles. How do you get rubella? Same way you can get measles. Respiratory droplets. Coughing or sneezing. After the patient is exposed to rubella through coughing or sneezing from another person, if, a, if another person coughs or sneezes at the healthy host at or around, the person will develop rubella in two to three weeks. However, rubella is a very, very fast, rubella has a very fast course of the rash. The rash will begin on the face and generalize to the entire body. It will spread to the entire body. It only will last about five days though, and then it will go away. There are some places, some literature that say two to three, that's fine. Five is the max. The first day, first day though, of the rash, fever will be present. Fever will be present on the first day only. And then the rest of the days, there will be no fever. One thing very particular about a patient with rubella is that they will have suboccipital lymphadenopathy. Suboccipital lymphadenopathy. This is very particular for this disease because you don't see that in many diseases. Another thing you will see in rubella are Forsheimer spots. Forsheimer spots are the anthem for rubella. Forsheimer spots, what are they? Well, they're just simply reddish spots on the soft palate of the patient who is probably infected with rubella. Next, roseola infanta. Exanthem. Subitum. Six disease. Human herpes. Virus 6. What a coincidence. The one that causes Roseola and Phantom has the number of the exanthem. At least the nickname, 6 disease. So, <clears throat> What about roseola and phantom? Well, roseola and phantom begins like this. The child will present with a very high fever and no other symptoms, signs or symptoms that can explain why the child has a high fever. The child may also appear, well, they will not look ill but they will have the fever, their very high fever, and nothing else. After the fever resolves though, they will develop a rash that begins in the trunk. and will spread to the entire body. The rash will last 24 hours and then resolve. That is the course of roseola 